Well, hello, good evening. Good evening, Please. Freddy, Blanca, Fabio, and Carlos. Good All right, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone. Good evening. Hi, hello, Blanca. We'll begin here shortly. Let's see. Hi, good evening. Hi, hello. Nice to have you. Stay with us. And that works. Huh? What happened? How was everybody's day without the social networks? <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was, uh, yeah, it was a few dilemmas, right? But yeah, there's always a way to communicate. I guess you just have to wait, right? I don't know if some of you use uh, use another app. Um, I don't know. It has gotten a lot of tendency. Telegram? Well, actually, I tried to use it. Yes, one. I have. I actually, I, I actually didn't like it. No. Right. I have Telegram and I have Line too. All right. the The advantage with Telegram is that you can send or receive heavy, heavy files or videos, right? Whereas WhatsApp it has a limit, limit. So that's the advantage. But yeah, I've used it. And since since they're all connected, I think what was the Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, since they're all connected, you know, when one falls, all of them fall together. <laughs> <laughs> In unison, right? Let me see. Okay, let me check out. Hello, Miguel. Welcome. Let me see. Good evening, class. All right. Good evening, class. All right, Miguel. Nice to have you here. And I'm going to... Thank you, teacher. All right, welcome. We'll begin here. Let me just get something. I want teacher. to see something. Yes? Teacher, teacher, I, I, I would like to say you about the last class. I had a problem with my cell phone. It was uh, uh, local because uh, it was uh, uh, too hot, too hot and local. And I have fixed it uh, on Saturday afternoon. Okay. And, and I can't. I I I couldn't uh, finish the class. Finish the class. All right, well, today we're going to continue with, with that activity, so don't worry, okay? Don't worry about it. All right, let me see. Um, I'm just looking at some things here. It is in Jacqueline. One has sent. Miguel. Okay. I'm looking at everybody's platform individually. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let me close it. So how was how was your weekend? How was everything? Anyone have any anything interesting that you would like to share with the class? Anything in particular that you did this weekend? Me. Uh huh. Go ahead, Freddy. I had a car accident yesterday. What? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I hit a drunk man. Oh man. But actually, it was it was a level accident. Okay, so it wasn't something major, right? It wasn't something major. Yeah, the thing is that when something like that happens in the center of the city, you get a lot of problems. to try to call the the other kind of people and to fix everything up. I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna call the cops. And they're like, no, we're gonna call the you know what? Yeah. So. So yeah, I, I had to give them some money in order to get away from it. 
<laughs> Imagine that, right? Wow. Yeah, man. Sometimes that's it, it gets frustrating sometimes, right? Yeah. Got to enjoy the weekend and then boom. Some some negative things may occur every now and then. But I'm glad everything is is better for you now, right? Everything's yeah. good. I was kind of afraid because they try to call the kind of people, so yeah. Very not well. Well, I'm glad everything worked out for you and you're doing fine right now, and you continue to be fine, Felix. All right. So yeah. glad to hear that. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that, Felix. Anyone else that would like to share something? Anything in particular this weekend? Any any celebrations? Anything? Teacher, for me, um, on Saturday, I was uh, working every day, mm. all day, excuse me, all, all day, day. Um, all day, yes, all day. Um, uh, yesterday, I went with my family to visit my father. Uh, we stayed for uh, four hours around in, in his home. And we celebrate uh, uh, a moment. Uh, we eat, ate some uh, souvenirs. Uh, in the for dinner, we went to eat uh, eat pupusas, and that's it uh, for me. Uh, it's a easy weekend, and I I enjoy it with my family. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you had a good family gathering and you enjoyed yourself. So that's great, that's great. All right, let me see. I'm going to remember that that on Friday we were doing the activities in groups. Some of you decided to do it individually. There's no problem with that. But today we are going to analyze, well, you are, you are going to express those ideas, analyzing place and promotion strategies, right? And then as a group, you were supposed to research a particular product. And I left it open for anyone to choose whatever product they, they wanted to research and then talk about it. Give me a few analysis based on the price strategies in place in relation to that particular product. Now, um, that was for Friday because we didn't finish, right? We're going to continue that today. And we are also going to, let me just put it here on the screen. Share screen real quick. And let me see. All right. So can you read, please? Um, we just enter right now. So, okay. Hello, Diana. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. I can. Can you begin reading, please? Presentation. Yes. Presentations about place and promotion strategies. Use enough with nouns and extra word sheets. 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 Worksheets. Excellent. Very good. Today's date? Monday, October 4th, and 2021. All right. Very good. Teacher Mr. Henry, Intermediate 3. All right. And this is class number 13, right? We only have, after today, we will have only 12 more classes left. So we already surpassed the 50% mark. Let me see. All right, so we're going to finish what we started on on, Mon on Friday, sorry, on Friday. And we are also going to look at enough with nouns. We did a little bit already about this, but we can still do some more practice because it's in your, it's in your book, right? It's in your book and it's on page 23, page 23 of your book, of your manual. Right there, you can see how to use enough with nouns 
although I had already mentioned it to you last week, we still have to do that page and maybe some more activities related to it. And also I added something a little extra. For example, here, the opposites of adjectives. Okay, I think, um, who was it? Someone sent me something that was the opposite. I think it was Freddy's, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, right? Am I correct, Freddy's? Yes? All right. It was me. All right, yes. I think it was uh, the man was, wasn't uh, tough enough, I think. Uh, and weak enough. It was too weak or something like that. <laughs> you use the opposite adjective, right? It was too weak. All right. Um, that would be something here also. That would be something here also. But that would be just extra. And then this one, you will do it. Um, you will read it, but you're going to work it in, in, in pairs. That way we don't spend too much time in reading. You can read it together in groups. This activity also too with enough and negative, not enough. And also read a little bit of the Roman wall just north of England. I don't think this is the Great Wall of China. All right, this is back then with the Roman Empire. Okay, but just a little reading. And do this activity, do this activity with nouns, okay, and adjectives, and give you a little bit more information about about the the word enough. When it's used with a noun, it's basically used as an as an adjective. And then when we see an adjective with enough, it's basically seen as an adverb. Remember the adverbs modify verbs and also adjectives. But before we continue, I'm going to, this is what we saw Friday, All right, just to give you a little recap of what we saw Friday. And I hope that your group or your classmates are here, everyone that was doing this activity in groups. I hope you're ready to give your presentation. And we will continue after I take the first attendance. Okay? I'm going to take the first attendance. So let me let me just be right back real quick. Okay, when I call your name, please say present or here. Okay, Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay, no answer. 
Blanca. I'm here. Okay, all right, great. Let me see. Brenda. Brenda, I think she's connecting right now. Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Present. All right, great. Present. Thank you. Flor. Present. All right, great. Francisco. Present. Okay, thank you. Freddy's. I'm here. All right, great. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. Iris. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jackie. Jackie. Okay, no answer. Isaac Jarvin. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right, great. Juan Jose. Present. All right, great. Uh, Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio. Present. All right, great. Rolando. And let me read your message, Rolando. Okay, Rolando, no problem. Thank you. And Janari. Janari. Okay, no answer. Okay, class, let's continue. <clears throat> okay, on Friday, we were doing the group activity where you were going to present your, let me see, let me share it. Are you ready? Are all your classmates here who were with you in the group? Everyone, let me see, I'm, I can read them right here. I have the list. And let me see, the, the first group was Beatriz, Francisco, and Iris, right? You were group number one. Hello, Beatriz, you're here. Okay. Yes, teacher, good evening, everybody. All right. Okay, I'm going to put your press in, okay? You okay. missed the attendance by a few seconds, but ah, don't worry, I'll put you present, okay? Thank you. All right. Let me see. And I hope you can listen to me. Also, Brenda, I see you were connecting also, so I'll put you present. All right. Let me see. Okay. Are y'all ready? Are you nervous? Oh. <laughs> so, so I'm going to try teaching. All right. So I want, I want, I was going to ask you something. Now, are you going to do it alone or, or your other classmates are going to give a little feedback also? My presentation is short. Okay, great. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Beatriz. Okay, in our group, in our group is uh, Francisco and Iris, I think, mm -hmm. to, to present a, a screen. Okay, I gave you access right now, please. Feel okay. Free. Okay. Remember that this was the ending of the of the four P's, right? And this was a combination of place and promotion. Place okay. and promotion strategies. And then group number two was Blanca. Jarvin and Janari. All right. Okay. Um, our product, our company is dedicated to sell ice coffees. Uh, we sell different kind of coffee. We sell ground coffee and toasted coffee, but our specialty is ice coffees. So 
we choose this this product because we know there are uh, ice coffee lovers and they enjoy not only drink a beverage, they only share and spend time with family, friends, and relatives. We are going to sell this product in a coffee shop and those too, because we consider these places are, are available for all kinds of people. Our promotion, we are going to sell a half, a half price if you buy one. If you want a cup of coffee, the second one is going to, to sell in a half price. Or maybe if you want to change this promotion for another one, like, like buy a cup of coffee and you need and you want another cup of coffee with eight ounces or six ounces, we are going to give you that promotion too. Mm -hmm. Our, our strategies, strategies are low price and high quality. We are going to sell iced coffee for only $2.50. The second one, the second one, remember, is half price. And we, if you buy a pan, a toasted coffee or a brown coffee, we are going to give you some samples to taste this coffee. These samples are glasses with six ounces. And that's it, teacher. Okay, all right, very good, very good. Excellent. All right, remember that when you say dollar is Dollars, dollars, dollars. All right, very good, very good. Um, your your classmates are they going to say anything, or or no? Mm, I'm not sure, teacher. Maybe Francisco. Francisco, are you? Would you like to share anything, or was that all? Or it is? Were you going to share anything? Or was that it? Iris Francisco? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, were y'all going to add anything else? Or was that it? Um, maybe um, my classmate um, Beatriz says old, but the the only only I can say say you is that play, the old place perfect for promotion is hot hotels malls and coffee shops and we have the drive through and. And only that. Okay. Okay. So you mentioned drive through, right? Drive through. All right. So thank you for the extra information, Iris. Okay. Francisco? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I, I think that uh, we need to select a good place. For example, if we. We have a, a idea, maybe offer samples in the supermarket for the offer the little something for the public, maybe know the, the product and maybe to um, attract. Attract. Attract more customers. Okay, all right. Okay, very good, very good, Francisco, all right? More ways to attract more customers, more clientele, right? What is clientele? Okay. Clientele, que significa clientele? Clientela? That's Clientela. Uh, very good, yes. Very good, that's just another word that you might want to add to your vocabulary, right? Not just customers, right? But you can also use the word clientele, your clientele, right? 
basically you use that when you have the same person come to the store one, two, three, four times, right? Esa es su clientela, right? People that come back to the store again, okay? All right, very good, very good. I, I, I could use one of those right now, one of those... Uh, <laughs> one of those drinks right now, Beatriz. Can you send me one, please? All right. Let me see. All right. Great. Well done. Very good. Group number two was Blanca, Jarvin, and Janari. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good hey, evening. welcome. Welcome. Thank you. I will talk about video games. This is the product that my team shoes because the old, old video game that we're going to sell is online because we think that is the top right now is the most, is a, a product easier to sell because everyone use internet right now. Okay, how I already told you, the place that we choose to sell our products as internet and the strategy that we choose is a uh, good marketing and a uh, good price i say that be for example because it depends how often do you play video games this is the price that you're going to have for the product because if you play a lot of during the day so we you will have a uh, good offer to to play or you're going to have a good skills of course are free and if, for example if you are playing if you share or or link or you make a uh how could how could how can i say you make oh how can i say new customer propaganda teacher who can I say propaganda? Well, you can say propaganda would be like, are you talking about like marketing? Huh? Yes. That would be, yeah, it's you can use shared. marketing, you can do marketing strategies, all right? You can do marketing strategy. you can say it that way also, all right? Or you can do yes. um, sales, like someone just said, right? Sales or discount. Okay. Okay. For example, our plan to sell our product is use a, a streamer that they, they can play our video games. If, if she share our product, of course, they going to have a lot of promotion about the, the video game. For example, a free time, or maybe they can, they can be the first for play a new video game. Okay. All right. All right, so you think that in this time of age or this time and era, video games have become very common, right? They're very yeah. common, right? I think uh, everyone play uh, some video game, right? Some, some sort think. of video game, right? Yeah, some sort of video yes. game. I used to play a lot, to be honest. I kind of stopped because it was getting too addictive, right? And it's like I always wanted to play, and they were like, "No, yeah, yeah, stupid, right? That's enough, right?" And I had to <laughs> discipline myself because I was like, I always wanted to be playing video games, and they were like, "Come on, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right?" So it can it can lead to to a lot of a, you know, you stop doing other things to play video games, right? So it's always time to, for everything. But yes, I like playing video games. I also like to play chess and other oh. games on that are on the phone right like sodukos and stuff like that so i like to play or do those types of games also right so very good very good uh jarvin excellent excellent right and we all know that technology is advancing so the video games have become more realistic right jarvin it's like yes. you you feel like you're there right <laughs> it is just so the full HD and everything that comes with it, right? The movements are so realistic, right? So thank you, very nice yeah. topic, all right? Very thank good. You. Anyone else in your group that is going to add something extra? I think Blanca can help me with that. Okay, Blanca? Why? 
No, <laughs> uh, um, I'm, I just want to, to clarify the point of the of the promos that we have for our customers because it's the way you can share uh, the game in your social media and you you're going to receive uh, skills or or guns that can help you in the game okay that's all all right okay very good thank you blanca for sharing that anyone else in your, in your group i don't think so teacher because janari says she has problem with her internet okay all right no problem we will continue with the next group it was glenda jackie jennifer and fabio okay <clears throat> um, we choose uh, as a theme uh, desserts. Do you so, excuse me? What did you say? We choose desserts as the as the oh, product. Okay. All kind of desserts like cheesecake, uh, oh, yeah. brownies, brownies, muffins, All right. cakes, uh, cheesecake. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and from location, we thought that the social media has a great impact right now we decide to reduce our cost and sell the products only in delivery apps like Pedisja, Ugo, and Uber. So that will be the location. We thought it's not necessary to have a, a right. place that, yeah. And the promotion strategy, like we say in the social media, we will create a fan page, we will have it promoted. And we also give some promotions, uh, some discounts in, in the delivery apps a certain day or because of from the opening and that, yeah, that's all. All right, okay. So, okay, you were basically talking about the search, right? All right, that's, that's good, that's good. Sweet, sweet food, right? A little bit of cheesecake. I love cheesecake, right? I love it. <laughs> yes, I love cheesecake, especially with the strawberries or cherries on top. Oh, man, you got to have it, right? So anyone else in your group that would like to share something? Mm, I don't think. <laughs> okay, that is it. Okay, very good, very good. I'm going to research. All right. Now, we also had some, thank you, thank you for that um, information. Now, I had some, some that were doing it individually, right? Flor, I think you were one, some of the ones that were here Friday that were individually, Freddy's, and let me look at my, my, my picture here. It was, let me see, Freddy's, Miguel, and, hey teacher. Right, and I think it was Flor there also. Okay, who wants to go next? Orlando with the Lotes Locos. Yeah, the <laughs> but I don't think he can. He can. Uh, he's at work right now. He's he's there, right right? Now. Yeah. So go ahead, Miguel. Let Let us hear you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, class. Good evening. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to explain uh, about my uh, promotion strategies. Well, my product I, I am sell is a soccer player ship of El Salvador. Um, shirts. This shirts. is uh, shirts, shirts, excuse me, shirts. This is this is product, product is very sold when the select team play in Cuscatlan Stadium. All people nowadays, uh, um, now the El Salvador play the octagonal. And my promotion strategies are um, buy one soccer play shirt of El Salvador. I give you 20% uh, for one. Um, if you buy two or more, more two, I give you one and three to the stadium. 
I think uh, the promotion strategies uh, is better in social media because all people nowadays, it has one cell phone or a smartphone. Um, all people has a Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and I, I send some information about this product. The perfect location I, I choose is near of the Cuscatlan Stadium because when El Salvador play, is many people can buy a shirt of El Salvador. And this is my uh, promotion strategy teacher for this product. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, remember it's shirts, right? Don't forget that. Because the way yes, you said yes, it, first, <laughs> with sheets, she's on cobijas or sabanas, right? Yes. Uh -huh. um, and the okay. other shirt. Yeah, the shirts. And then when you talk about the selecta, right? Now, okay. that word is only for our culture, okay? If you go to other countries, they call it, the, for the most part, it's called the national team. The national team, okay? And maybe you were talking about the quarterfinals? Los octavo, or what, what did you say? Round of 16? Oh, yes, yeah, yes. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that will be the round of 16, or they will be the quarterfinals, okay. and then semifinals, mm -hmm. and then final okay. the championship, right? Okay. 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 Very, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Again, very good. Okay. Very good with your shirts. Anyone else? Predis and Flor, do you have anything? Anything that you would like to say? Actually, I did it on Friday. Mm -hmm. I was yeah, you did it, but you did it with only with the ones that were there doing it individually. I, I don't remember if you did it with the whole class. Beatriz, did you hear Freddy's place and presentation? I don't remember, teacher. Mm -mm. I don't. All teacher, right. teacher, excuse me. Uh, Freddy's and Rolando and me, uh, we stay uh, individually. Exactly. And Freddy's, and Freddy's tell you um, individually. Exactly. Only, only, only ours. Only person, ourselves. We yeah, stay. Only, only or, ourselves. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was like a bad connection or something, right? Yeah, so can you share it with the class, Freddy? All right. Well, actually, the product that I choose, it was Netflix. Mm -hmm. so the product already exists, but it's not my product, right? Exactly. The, lo the location, it's, it's actually on social networks and commercials. The promotional strategy that they have is they have different offers to obtain the products. Example, in the first month that you get the product, the free trial policy is kind of a promotion activity to build a brand awareness at the first and retaining those who subscribe to it. They give you that promotion that you could get the, the account. Actually, the first account is like, uh, I actually don't remember exactly, it's like around like $7 for two TVs. And the second one is the full one that's for $12 for, for TVs, actually, if you if you're interested to to subscribe, I recommend the one that is twelve dollars because you you get everything full, everything HD, and I think you have like a more access to more series, and more it's like you like let's say like you even you could be able to to get like. Like let's say, like in a group, in order to pay, and let's say you're you're the member, you have the membership for the the account, you had the the twelve dollar ones, and you have you have it for the four TVs. If you <clears throat> if you think about it, if you sell it for five bucks each account to let's say to your neighbor or to someone related to you. 
actually you get more money than what you're paying for it. Okay. Because I have some people that I know that they do that. They sell it for five bucks each each account, and actually they instead of paying out of their other their pocket, they actually they they have again they get some profits of of it. Exactly. Exactly right. Exactly. They share their password and stuff. And then when the person, the other person doesn't pay the five bucks, all they do is change the password and, and boom, you're cut off, right? <laughs> all right. All right. Very good, Freddy. Flor, would you like to say something or? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, Flor, we can hear you. Proceed. Uh, I, can I share the screen, teacher? Sure. Please, please do so. What? <laughs> okay, like good that. evening, everybody. My product is food, is chicharrones. The name of our business is called Doña Chica. And we have decided to sell online, just online, and to take away um, to make deliveries in Lourdes, Colón area. Our main strategy is provide exceptional service, and by this, I mean everything, customer service, quality of food, quality of ingredients, um, the packaging, etc. And the hygienist, I, I don't know how to say it, teacher. Which one? Yeah. It's called uh, high, like hygiene. 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 Okay. Hygiene. So, um, we have our delivery area planet and we do good marketing. Mm, and sure. all the images that we use are real of our products. And you can contact us on Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Just that. Okay, great. All right. Laura, is that, is that what you used to sell in the, on the pandemic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's for real, teacher. That product um, is for real. Yeah. Pandemic. It, yes. looks, it, look, it looks very real, right? I feel like eating some right now, right? No, it's, it's for real. You can find us for real on Facebook. Okay, so so you're still in that business, right? Yes? No, we have to make a pause because I have to go come back to my job. But okay. the, the, the page is there. Okay, the place is there, okay? Doña Chica, all right? All right, what you say in Colón, right? Is that what you said? In Colón? Lourdes Colón. Lourdes Colón, right? All right, all right. You want to sell us on trip or uh, something? <laughs> yum, dice Rolando, right? Wow, yummy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like going in eating some myself, right? It's a long drive for me. <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, class, anyone else that would like to participate before we proceed? Anyone else that would like to participate? Any product, just place and promotion strategies? Anyone else? One, two, three. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I think Flor left us hungry. All right, getting hungry. Let me see. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you this before we before we continue. This is just going to be something brief. Since we're talking about that subject. Now, remember that when when you have a product or you get involved in any business, like Flor just mentioned, right? In any business or any type of a product that you put in the market, whether it's a product or a service, remember that promotion strategies can be employed at each stage of the product life cycle. Remember the life cycle that we saw in unit one, right? Where we have the introduction, the growth, the maturity, and the decline. At any phase, 
at any phase of this uh, product life cycle, you can introduce promotion strategies. Okay, remember that. So it's important for you to understand that if you ever get in the business, whether you're growing, whether you're introducing, whether you're at the maturity, or whether you are in decline. Let's read just to get a basic understanding so we can go to the um, grammar section. Let me see. Let me begin with uh, Abigail. Yes. Hello, Abigail. Can you read the introduction, please? Okay. Uh, introduction. When a product is new, the organization objective will be to inform the target audience of its entry. Television, radio, magazines, coupons, etc. may be used to push the product through the introduction stage of the life cycle. Push and pull strategies will be used at this crucial stage. All right, so this is basically what is telling you if you ever get involved in, in any type of marketing strategies of selling a product or service, when you when you get to the first stage, the introduction, it's important for you to inform your target audience. In other words, let it be known, okay? Don't just open and just say, ya abrimos, right? No, let it be known. For example, if you notice at different places, there are signs that say, eh, abrimos pronto, or something like that, proximo mes. They're, they're letting the audience know that soon, there will be an opening for a business, right? And then you target that audience and let them know whether it's just through social medias, whether it's through television, radios, or just by giving out coupons, giving out coupons. Okay, continue with the growth. Um, Beatriz. Bro. As the product becomes accepted by the target market, at this stage of the life cycle, the organization will employ a strategy to increase brand awareness and customer loyalty. Okay, customer. Customer. Very good, customer loyalty, right? What is loyalty? This is important. Customer loyalty, what is that? When a customer has the preferences to your product. Very good, yes, very good. So pretty much the customer says, you know what, I will not go anywhere else, only here. So you have customer loyalty, esa lealdad de los clientes, that they will go to your place or business have you this is very common and we can share this i think we can have common ground here have you ever in pupusas in many places and then you say mm, i'm not going there anymore la de doña tal y tal ahí sí mira I, or, that is what we refer to customer loyalty right because the product is so good that you you refuse to go anywhere else okay and that's what it means, right? Or whether the person that sells tamales or uh, or other types of uh, food products, right? Like, um, let me see, like Flor mentioned about the chicharrones, right? And we say, no, uh, only, only with her, right? Only con Doña Chica, right? That's the only place I eat chicharrones, right? Si no Doña Chica, Doña Chica, I don't want it, right? No la quiero, right? Or we say the same thing with pizza, right? Some people say, oh, Papa John's. Some people say Pizza Hut. Some people say Domino's. How many yeah. like? I I've been in all of them. I have my preferences. I think those places do have me as loyalty, right? I eat more probably in Papa John's and Little Caesars. Those are one low and one high class, right? If we want to categorize them, right? Pizza Hut, yeah, maybe, right? Sometimes. Maybe because it's a little bit greasy, a little bit too greasy for me or something like that, but 
Everybody has their preference, right? But Domino's Pizza, I think, on my opinion, is probably the bottom. I, I don't like the quality. But what, what about you? What about in the U.S.? Oh, there are a variety, right? I think it's still, I like but, Papa John's. But you see, Domino's Pizza in the U.S. is way different than right Oh, here. yeah, Domino's Pizza is 10 times different, right? It's 10 times yeah. different. But, it, said. but here, you know, Domino's over there. Yeah, I will eat Domino's over there. But yeah. here, so let me ask you something as a class. What is your favorite hamburger? And not, not what is, let me rephrase that, that question. Where would you Whopper. prefer? Okay, someone said Whopper. Okay, she already mentioned the preference of a burger. So it will be Burger King, right? It will be Burger yeah. King, right? Yes, I love Whoppers, right? Whoppers, right? I think they're just big and they're fresh. It feels fresh, right, at Burger King. So Did you ever, did you ever try called Juniors? Mm, I don't remember those, right? Junior, juniors. I think I remember one that has the JR on it. Like yeah, junior. with the star. Yeah, I think I remember now, right? But there are, but in your area, in your area where you live, if I tell you, where would you recommend I go eat a good, nice, juicy hamburger? Where? Burger King. Burger King. Anyone else? Wendy's. 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 All right. Wendy's. All right. Anywhere. Anyone else that would like to guide me into a preference? Juan Jose. McDonald's. McDonald's. Okay. Yeah. It depends on what you order, right? Yeah. I prefer Mike's Burger. All right. Mike's Burger. Okay. There are different places, right? There are different places. Now, um, as far as McDonald's, how many of you have the application? What do you say tiene la aplicación? How many of you have the McDonald's app? I have it on my phone. I, I don't have it because they can they can go they can go to my place. Okay. So oh, okay. It's use, Switch up. It's useless. It's Pull useless up. for me. Okay. No. Well, Google app, uh, the McDonald's app. Uh, I didn't know that Uber. McDonald's has an app. Yes, and their discount. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. And the Uber Eats too don't, don't came to my place. So it's sad for me. <laughs> All right. So... Yes, I've Did used the, the the McDonald's app. I've used it, and they they get they have a lot of discounts, right? They have a lot of discounts. Like with the app, I w I used to go. I haven't been recently, but a few months ago, I went and I bought two quarter pounders, two quarter pounders with cheese, two fries, and two sodas for seven dollars, right? So they have it like that with the app, only with the app. A good promotion. Yeah, because what just one combo is like for something five dollars, right? But you can get both combos. They have a lot of promotions with the app, and I use it a lot. So when I go to the store and uh, when I go to the restaurant and eat, I open the app and I say I want this promotion right here. They they give it to me. All right. So just in case if some of you would. But ever if want... you compare the Whopper with the Big Mac, the Whopper is bigger than the. Oh, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. And it's the same price. Yes, most definitely. Actually, right here in Sonsonate, there's a place that's called um, Peace Restaurant. It has a this kind of big burger, like I like think it's like a, like a pound of meat, a burger. Oh, those are good. I, I ate one, a pound? Man, I was full for the whole day. Yes. A pound, it was like this. It was a burger that was like this yeah. big. I was like, wow, right? All right. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Edwin. Edwin. Maturity. Okay, maturity. At this stage of life cycle, the product will be experiencing increased competition and will need persuasive tactics. Okay, to pers persuasive. 
Persuasive. Okay, thank you. Persuasive. Very Tactics good. to encourage consumers to choose their product over their rivals. Rivals. Uh, rivals. Any dif differential advantage, benefit will be need to be clearly common com communicate. Okay, to the, Co communicated. Communicated to the target audience. Okay, very good. Okay. So, when, teacher, when, yes, I, I would like. I, I just I would like to say that I prefer Santa Hamburguesa. Okay, that is one of my of my, my favorite hamburgers. Okay, where? Uh, where? In, here in San Salvador, there is a lot of places. There is one in Multiplaza. There is another one in Santa Rosa. Uh, okay. Let's see, in Santa Elena, there is in another San Benito. one. In San, in Benito, San Benito, there is another one. And okay. trust me, for me, is 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 the is the best uh, here in Salvador because this hamburger is very premium. All right, and it's called yeah. what? Sandburger. Is that what you said? Santa Burguesa. Ah, <laughs> Santa Burguesa. Right? Uh -huh. right. That's the that there is the name of the place. All there right. is like four places. <laughs> Okay, I just want to say that. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Yes, it's always good to hear to hear your your comments, right? Santa Burguesa. All right, great. Anyone else that recommends those places, those hamburgers? Anyone else? Santa Burguesa. I think I think Blanca said, "Yeah, I like that" or something, right? Okay, so yeah, I love that. Okay. Now. When we reach a maturity in any product or in any business or service, remember that the competition will increase. And this is where you need persuasive tactics. Esas tácticas de persuadir, all right? Persuasive tactics to encourage customers to choose basically your product over rivals, right? Over rivals. So this is where the competition gets a little hefty. Okay, let's finish with decline with um Juan Jose <clears throat> okay decline as the product reach the decline reaches reaches, reaches, reaches the decline stage of the life cycle of the organization can do is use a strategy to remind consumer about the product in a bid to slow the inevitable. Okay, inevitable. Inevit inevitable. 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 Very, very good, excellent, right? Strategy, as I say, it's a strategy. Strategy. Very good. So here, basically, in the decline, we all know that when a company goes into decline, it's like, right? It's already losing money, it's losing customers, it's losing employees. And the debt goes up and up and up, right? Maybe more expenses in trying to recuperate the losses. So here you can still do promotion strategies, but it's basically used to slow down the negativity of the company. That's basically it. Because it says right here, inevitable, right? Inevitable. It's like you're, you're pretty much done unless you change everything. Unless you change everything. Pretty much it's best to create a new product or service. Let me see. Okay, that was basically a little bit more extra information in relation to promotion strategies connected with the product life cycle. All right. <clears throat> now, go to page 23 of your book. If you already have it there, just go to that page, page 23. We're going to do a little bit of, a, just a little bit of grammar, a little review with enough. But this time it's going to be used with nouns. Remember we saw enough with adjectives, right? Enough with verbs enough with nouns but now we're going to focus just on this only this page though okay only this page and then we're going to do a variety of activities and you're going to do one in in group also now 
before before I continue, before I continue, I'm going to take the second attendance so that way we don't stop till till later. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, is that you, Jackie? Yes, I am, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry okay. to be late. Okay, no problem. No problem. I have many, uh, an emergency. Okay, well, I'm about to do the second attendance. So welcome, glad you are here. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Abigail. Present. Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay. Brenda. She's still connecting with the audio. Flavia. Hello, Brenda, can you hear me? I see you're connecting. Okay, Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Tiana. Teacher, did you hear Present. me? Yes, Present. I Okay. Okay, thank you, Diana. Edwin? Present. Okay. Flor? Present. Okay. Francisco? Present, teacher. All right. Let me see. Freddy's? Freddy's? I think your camera jammed or something. Glenda? Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Iris. Teacher. Iris? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie? I'm here. Okay, great. Let me see. Jarvin? Present, teacher. Okay, let me see somebody send me a message. Uh, he lost electricity. All right. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Juan Jose. Present, teacher. Thank you. Miguel. Present, teacher. All right. Fabio. Present. All right. Rolando, okay, you still at work, no problem. Janari, Janari, I'm here, teacher. All right, great. I'm here. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, Janari, thank you. All right, now, let me see. Okay, hold on, hold on real quick. Okay, now if we go to page 23, you're going to see this, this page right here. <clears throat> Can you begin reading, please? Um, let me see, I can't escuchar. Okay, let's see. Fabio, can you begin reading, please? Okay. Um... How to use an app with nouns. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. Okay. Enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before a noun. Very good. The company does not have enough information about the customer to understand their needs. 
we design enough promotions to create a short-term increase in sales. This strategy may be used to distribute enough product. Distribute. Dis distribute. Very good. Enough products. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. There were not enough experts to perform the task. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, as you can see here, we have enough and then we have a noun after it. That is when we are referring to nouns, nouns. Remember that nouns are either countable or uncountable. So we have different well, promotions, which is countable, right? Information is non-countable. Products, items, experts. Can someone give me an example using enough? Remember, it's going to have verbs in front of it, but I want you to use an, a noun after enough. You don't have enough what, or there were not enough, enough what. Remember, we are answering what. Suficiente que. Dan, uh, Diana? I would like to have enough uh, money. Okay. To 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 quit my job <laughs> <laughs> okay very good so you would like to have enough and then you have a noun after it right enough money not a preposition like we saw earlier right we have enough money she said very good anyone else Excellent. me okay Freddy's. i would like to have enough time to spend with my family okay very good enough time <laughs> enough time all right very good uncountable noun i.e right very good anyone else me teacher go ahead edwin i would like to have more enough space in my house to build another bedroom ah okay enough mm -hmm. space right very good excellent excellent anyone else blanca flor abigail Carlos, you want to share something? An example? Let's go. I have enough problems. Okay, I have enough problems, all right? Yeah, that is a good one, right? That is very common, right? Very common, right? Very good, I have enough problems, right? Very good, very good. Anyone else? Anyone else? I would to let... I would to have enough time to sleep more. I would like to have. I would like to have. Okay. Enough time, you say, right? Teacher, can I say, for example, I I have I have to do enough homework. Okay, enough homework. All right, very good, very good, very good. Excellent. Homeworks. Yes, you can do homeworks, right? Do enough. All right, now let's look at number one. Remember that some of these you have to change the verb to an adjective. Let me make this a little bit bigger. There is one here that. I think it's in the in some of the homeworks in the platform, right? But let's do number one. Can someone do number one, please? The marketing. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The marketing department hasn't created mm -hmm. enough interest. Very good. Created, right? Enough interest so you use an adjective before it also very good very good excellent hasn't created let me write it down so that way the rest can see okay floor you can do the next one our products offer enough features and benefits okay very good enough interest now I'm going to share something with you. 
on number two. In the platform, I think you have the same question, okay? But the answer will not accept enough. You have to use the word great. So that was, a, I believe it's an error, all right? Because you have to use enough, enough. Offer, what did you say, Floor? Enough? Features, right? Yes, features and okay. benefits. Very good. Okay, so that will be number two. Offer enough features and benefits. In the platform, they have this word. Instead of enough, they added, they added, I believe, uh, great, the word great. Great, but that is in the platform. I believe that was an error, right? So if you ever come across this question in the platform, let me know, okay? Because you have to put the word great and not the word enough, but this should be the correct way. Enough features and benefits. Okay, number three. Uh, Miguel. Okay, teacher. Uh... The place strategy then demands enough channel of distribution. Enough channels of distribution. Very good. Demands, right? Demands. Enough channels of distribution. Of distribution. All right. The next one will be, let me see. Raise your hand right here. Me, teacher. Hello, Iris. Uh huh. And then Diana. Okay. Retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. Okay, very good. Stock enough goods and sell them. Very good. Number five, Diana. We lack enough information on the competition. Very good. Enough information on the competition. Okay. Very good. Very good. So those are the five. They were pretty much easy, right? They were pretty much just regular enough with a noun, with a noun. Remember, these are nouns, okay? Information, goods, channels, features. Here we have two nouns, this is a compound, right? Two, two nouns. And then, not compound, but just two, two nouns, features and benefits. And then interest, which is a noun count now. Now, uh, one question in, in, in number uh, the last one in number five you miss lack or no. it's like this we, we we enough information okay we lack lack right we lack uh, yes all right we lack. yes thank you thank you edwin thank you we lack enough information on the competition right remember that what is lack Falta. Yeah, right. Very good. We lack. It's, it's like a negative like a lack, lack of education, right? Exactly. When so many, yes. Uh -huh. Perfect, right? No hace falta. Right? Falta lo suficiente, right? Lack. Lack. Enough. That is lack. Don't get confused with luck, right? Don't get confused with uh, luck. Those are totally different words. Luck and lack. Lack. Now, let me see. We did this part, building vocabulary, right? We did that on Friday. Am I correct? Miguel? Edwin, did y'all finish that? We, we finished this part, right? The vocabulary? 
Actually, I was absent uh, on Friday. I didn't know if you, if you guys finish. Okay, who remember those vocabulary? Beatriz, uh, Blanca, do you remember that vocabulary? Can you help out your classmates and tell them the answers? Freddy, you remember those? Jarvin. Yeah. Yes, Bobby. teacher, I remember. Okay, great. Can you help? Can you help Edwin? Yes, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for number one, advertising is the last uh, a person, um, a person organization that provides fund for activity career of by another. This is uh, the first one. The second one, the personal sales is a uh, sales interaction between the firm's represent representative and consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. And number three, sales promotion is building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. And number four, a sponsor. Is that correct, is... class? Hello? Sorry to stop you, Megan. Is that correct? Okay. Beatriz? I think that it's promotion designed to create a short term increase in sales. Sales promotion. Okay. So I think you had a little bit uh, somewhere, a few mistakes right there, right? So can you, so is, is uh, the one that Miguel said, is that correct? What is public relations, uh, Miguel? Public relations, which one is that? Well, uh, um, I think this is the building, building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Very good. That is public relations. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about, um, what is sales promotion? sales promotion, uh, a form of marketing that employees and openly sponsor, sponsored measures to promote or sell a product. Mm. No. Mm. I think it's, it's uh, sales promotion, it's promotions designing to create a short term increase in sales. Yes, that is sales promotion. Okay, thank you. All right. So you should have sales promotion here. And then in this one, building a positive will be public relations. And then sales interaction will be personal sales. And then a form of marketing that employs an openly sponsor will be advertising. And the last one will be sponsor, a person that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. Okay. okay. So it will be a sponsor, the last one. Sponsor. Sponsor. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Now, I need to erase this. Let me clear. All right. Okay, we have a little small activity right here. I want you to look at this. This is enough with adjectives versus nouns. We saw adjectives and we just saw nouns, remember that 
the noun comes after enough. After enough. We have enough plus noun, and we have adjective plus enough. Adjective plus enough. For example, look at number one. Blanca, can you read number one, please? Okay, um, I can't hear you. <clears throat> Beatriz, can you read number one, please? Morning. Mm -hmm. I have enough money to go shopping. Very good. So we have enough and then we have a noun, right? In this case, because we know that money is a noun, right? And I think some of you mentioned money earlier. Do number two, please, Beatriz, continue. Oh, are you old enough to get a driver license? Very good. So we have the adjective before enough. Then the words are here. They're all here on the side. And then you decide if it's an adjective or a noun. If it's an adjective, you have the structure adjective plus enough. If it's a noun, you have enough plus noun. Don't get confused with this, okay? So you decide, and there, here are the two examples. And I want everyone to do this activity. And let me see. You only have to send me the answer. Cuando yo digo respuesta, and I want you to put the number, okay? No nomás me manden, I want you to be disciplined enough to send one, two, well, ya la uno y la dos ya está, one, two, it'll be three, four, five, all the way to 15, okay? Please put the number. That way, when I correct it, yo nomás pongo el número y la corrección, okay? It will be We only here. have... We yep. only have to put uh, all enough, enough money. Well, in the case, in, in, in every single case, correct? Exactly. Only the answer. Okay. So the answer is going to have, your answer is going to have either, so respuesta va a tener o, adjective plus enough, or enough plus noun. Eso es todo. Okay, that is all I want. Right? That is all I want. So you do not have to write the whole sentences. Okay? No necesario que me escriban todas las oraciones. Just send me the answer. Right? Así como está la uno y la dos. Just the same way one and two are written, only the Parts in blue, right? Enough money, old enough, just like Blanca said, that's what I want. If you notice on the sentences, there are two spaces. There are two spaces in each sentence, right? So that means there are two words, two spaces. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that means there are two words, two words. The words are here on the side. They are, they are here, okay? Do not get confused. They are here. These are the words you're going to use. But you have to decide whether or not the word is a noun or an adjective to make the correct structure. Any questions? Any questions? No? Okay, great. Please do this activity. Now we'll give you a few minutes to do it. <clears throat> when you finish, send it to me, okay? Remember to put numbers, numbers. Do not forget the numbers. Please do not forget the numbers.
If there is a word you do not understand, please ask me so I can help you. For example, what is this coins? What is coins? Coins. Moneda. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Remember, all you have to do is look at the two examples on one and two, so you can get an idea, a better idea. When you finish, you can send it to me. If you can do it on your notebook, it will be better. I would prefer it to be in writing, in writing and not on text. Chair, the last one uh, is water, right? Excuse me? The last one, it's water, right? Water, number 15? Yeah. Number 15 is coins. Number 15 is coins. I can see the other two. Okay. I, I'm, I'm just seeing the water. Okay. I'm going to make it smaller. Are you using your phone or using a, a tablet, a blank or a computer? A mini laptop. Okay. Okay. So that means that we have to. Make this smaller. If you use, if you go to view auction and zoom, and zoom ration, you could fit it to window or 50% or original size. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to do that. In my case, I use it on original size, so I'll be able to move it and read it. I will be able to read it right. Okay, can you see it now, Blanco? Yes, thank you. You type very fast, Abigail. Okay, so I'm receiving <clears throat> some right here. All right.
Che Beatriz Clarice two, four, six, eight. Only eight have finished. Only eight have sent me this activity. So I'm going to give you like maybe two more minutes. I believe that this is a it's not that hard or not that difficult. Okay, this would be activity number esta la voy a tomar en cuenta. Where's my Insta for notebook? Okay, this will be activity number eight. Activity number eight, in case some of you would like to write it down, this will be activity eight. All right. <clears throat> Carlos, remember, you're supposed to send it to me, okay? Not to the group, please. To me. Carlos? Carlos? Okay. Sorry, I have a mistake. Okay, no problem. Please uh, send it to me, okay? Thank you. Okay, okay. All right. This is uh, in, in class activities. Okay, great. Now, number three, Abigail, can you read it, please, and give me the answer. A number three, it isn't fast enough. Can you give me the sentence, please? My old car. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My old car is too slow. It isn't fast enough. Very good. Very good. So that was an adjective with enough, right? Fast enough. Very good, Abigail. Excellent. Number four, um, Blanca. Okay. The, yes. There are, okay, number four, enough eggs to bake a cake. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Edwin, number, number five. Okay, it's war warm mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. Repeat. No. It is mm -hmm. en I know. And sorry, I I, I could uh, is is it ah. warm enough to go to the beach today? Very good, excellent. Remember, it's a question, so yes. we have the the verb to be first and then the pronoun right very good excellent eh? very Thank good you. no problem okay number six um flor number six is where can i find enough people for the game very good excellent very good. Enough. Enough people, right? Okay, continue, please. Jackie? Number seven. Our teacher never give us enough tests. Okay. Gives uh, us. Gives us. Give, gives us. Very good. Gives us. Very good. Excellent, Jackie. Number eight, Miguel. Okay. Uh, I am not strong enough to open these books. Very good. Remember, it's a contraction. I'm. 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 Very I'm. good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So, number nine, Beatriz. Is your... Is your deep, your deep, sweet enough? Okay. Mm, number nine. 
is there enough sugar in your tea? Very good, excellent, excellent. Number 10, Freddy's. She already said it. <laughs> yeah, but go ahead. Repeat the sentence, please. Enough. All right. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Number 11, um, Glenda. Glenda? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, you can hear me. Okay. 11. Wait. I I am looking for the match. Okay. Eleven. I don't feel well enough to to go to school today. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, Glenda. Good job. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. Fabio, number twelve. Is the room bright enough? Very good. Excellent. Number thirteen, Carlos. Let me see. Uh, you should remember to drink enough water. Very good. Excellent. 14 eighties. Is there a space enough? No, is enough space to do or work? Very good. Excellent. Enough space, right? Very good. Very wow. good. Number 15. And the last one will go to, let me see, Jackie. Jackie? Which one teacher? Sorry. <laughs> Number what? Mm hmm. Okay. Number, which number class? Can someone help Jackie? 15. 15. 15. The last one, Jackie. Ah, the last one, 15. Thank you. Um, do you have enough coins for the bus? Excellent. Well done. Very good. Now, as you can see, what you did right now is you did a variety of sentences mixing enough plus a noun and adjective plus enough. So you can get a feel of the differences between the two. Although the book focuses on nouns, right? With nouns only, but we're going to do a variety. Now, on the next one. This is a little bit different. This is a little bit different. Flor, can you can you read please the red part? Two and enough. Two and enough with adjectives and their oppositives. Mm, opposites. Opposites. Opposite. Yes, so very good. Good job. Opposite. Very good. So <laughs> here we're going to see more adjectives, more vocabulary but with opposites, los opuestos, all right? The opposites. For example, now, before I continue, you have two here. Do you remember with adjectives, what is the structure for two? Alisa Cuerda, do you remember? The two, what is the structure when we use adjectives with enough and two? We just did adjective with enough, but you remember two? Before, two plus two plus adjective. Very good, excellent, right? Two plus adjective, very good, that is correct. And then when we use enough is, what is it? Two plus adjective, right? And then when we use enough, is adjective? Plus adjective enough. Plus, plus enough. enough. Very good. That is the difference, okay? The structure, all right? Remember the structure so you won't get lost, all right? That will always be the case when we use two or enough. Two, then the adjective, adjective plus enough. But in this case, we're only going to be looking at vocabulary in relation to adjectives, but in correlation with two and enough. 
For example, number one. Um, Diana, can you read number one, please? Yes. Uh, we can't have a picnic. It's too hot outside. It's not cool enough. Very good. So you have to look at the context. At the context. The context clues. We can't have a picnic. It's too hot outside. So we already know that it's, it's hot, right? And then it say it's not cool enough. So cool and hot are opposites. Right? Aquí está fresquito y aquí está hot, right? It's hot. So you're going to use these adjectives and put them here. For example, all right, we already have cool, so you can scratch it if you have a, let me see this one right here. Right, so we already use cool, so we can scratch it, right? What about number two? Can someone do number two just for another example in the class? Yes. The, sorry, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Hello? No, go ahead, go ahead, no problem. Number two is... To hurry, he's too uh, slow. She isn't fast enough. Okay, she's too slow, right? She's too slow. She isn't fast, fast enough. She's too slow. Too slow, two plus adjective, and then right here, she isn't fast enough. Adjective and enough. So analyze that. All right, very good. So we have number two already done. She isn't, she's too slow. All right, and continue with, with those and do three, four, all the way to 15. Do all the way to 15, okay? You have, you do not have to send it to me. No necesario que me lo manden. Or not this one, all right? So just do two, three, all the way. I'm going to give you like five minutes to do this whole activity because I think it's easy. This is just to give you more practice with opposite adjectives.
Okay, who is finished? Finish. Okay, so I have Beatriz. Who else? All right. Me. All right. I'm going to give about one more minute. One minute for the rest to finish. Teacher, mm -hmm. on the weekend I started watching the Breaking Bad. What happened? You already started? Yeah, at the beginning in the first episode, I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? Why he's, <laughs> what, is he, what he's running away from? And then I saw that he, he got involved with, the, actually, he's like a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, so it gets, I'm in season five right now. I'm, I was watching it earlier because today's like my relaxed day, but tomorrow, Wednesday, I mean, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday are like my heavy days. Uh, well, I, I, I don't well, watch no TV. Friday. Hmm? Friday is a little relaxed and then Saturday is a little heavy and then Sunday I'm relaxed. So. What I like about it that he used a lot of chemistry so he knows what chemicals to use and what he can use the chemicals like what with, with the with the plastic what he needs to yeah, pour the exactly the exactly it gets weird it gets like real you need to just continue watching it let me know when you pass season one <laughs> it's nice <laughs> all right man okay number two we already did number three beatriz kevin can drive a car He's to John. He isn't all enough. Very good. Excellent. Number four, Diana. Those apples are are too expensive. Uh, they aren't cheap enough. Very good. Excellent. Abigail, number five. I don't like that movie. It's too boring. Isn't it isn't. interesting enough? It isn't. It isn't interesting enough. Very good. Excellent. Jackie, number six. And number six, I can't study here because it's too no noisy. It. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. I'm absent minded. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. I can't study here because it's too noisy. It isn't quiet enough. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Number seven, Juan Jose. <clears throat> Number seven. The exam was too difficult. It wasn't easy um enough very good excellent excellent number eight number eight um fabio okay jarvin number eight please uh, sorry i was mute okay go ahead go ahead fabio go ahead. Uh, which one was it Okay, which, which 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 one? number? What number number eight. Hey. Okay. Uh, Mr. Stewart says flying is too dangerous. It's not safe enough. Very good. Thank you. All right, Jarvin. I don't like my apartment. It's too small. E it isn't large enough. Very good. Excellent. Jennifer. Sorry, Bishop. The room is too dark. It isn't bright enough. I can read my book. Okay, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Sorry. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Next one. Um, Carlos. 
Okay, teacher, I, I was doing the, the, the picture. Can you send me who sentence? Uh, who okay. I, okay, class, can you tell Carlos? Donde estamos ahorita? Which number? 11. 11. 11. It's large. Um, it's large. Okay. I'm sorry, but, okay, but no your paragraph is uh -huh. too short. I'm sorry, but your paragraph is too short. It isn't large enough. Okay, is that correct? It isn't long. 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 Okay. Yes, we already did large, right? That was number nine. All right, continue, please, Miguel. Okay. Uh, Tomás has to wash has to wash his car. Is too dirty enough. Mm. Dirty, dirty. Is too dirty. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Okay. Can you finish the sentence, please? Okay. Tomás has not washed his car. Is too dirty. Mm, it's not clean enough. Okay, much better, much better. Very good. 13, okay. next one, Blanca. Okay, 13. Don't go to work, you're too sick, you're not healthy enough. All right, very good, very good, healthy enough, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, please, Freddy's. Sure. This box is too heavy, it isn't light enough, I can lift it. Okay. Very good. I can't lift it, right? All right. And we have Edwin. Okay. Jack's house is too far. It's not. And what was the last one? Oh, my God. I didn't read it. It's because I haven't run, but actually I, I erased it. Okay. So it's fast, right? Can someone help me? <laughs> okay. Can someone give uh, Edwin the answer? <laughs> It's what happened is that I put number 14 heavy, heavy, and, and I put a uh, number 15 near, and I erase it, and that's where I confuse. Yeah, the 15 is near, right? It's not near, yes. it's right? Near. Okay. okay. Thank you, Thank you right. guys. No problem. Thank you, all your classmates, right, for helping. Let me see. Okay, the last activity, I want you to do it in, in, in pairs. I'm going to put you in, in pairs, that way you can read. Read this uh, story about the Roman, the wall in, in, in Rome during the old, old times, Roman em empires. And I'm going to put you, and you're just going to do this activity, all right? Can you read the instructions, please, Blanca? The completed sentence with two, enough, not enough. Very Example, good. we didn't have enough money to go to the opera. It was too expensive. Very good, right? Very good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and try to do it. I think you have enough already experience with this vocabulary. Okay, so it should be really quick, maybe five minutes, and then just read. Read with your with your partner. Okay, I'm going to put you and then select the right one. Is it big enough or enough big? Big enough or too big? Right? I say it's not not big enough or too big. And you have this complementary words, right? And you select which one is the correct one to say the uh, sentence to complete it correctly. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. This is going to be brief. 
Teacher, just remember to to let us it's to already, share the, the picture. It's, yeah, to share screen. It's already activated. Okay. It's already activated. So you will have access. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you. For Okay, so you're going to be in pairs. Let me see. I don't think Rolando will be able to do it in, in a pair. So. Okay. Remember to, I hope you took a picture of it. I'm going to send it to the group. Hello, Abigail, Flor. It was too cold to visit the caves. It was not, it was warm enough. Yes. Okay, next. Mm. Mm. Hello, hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Repeat it, please. Agarrelo al final ahí. What happened? Repeat it. The sentence is number is, one. It was too cold. Yeah. It was too cold to visit the caves. It was warm enough. Mm. Miren el contexto. Warm. Veamos el contexto, Glenda. Let's look at the context. ¿Qué está diciendo en la oración 1? Que está... Muy frío. Ah. Very good. Entonces quiere decir que estaba... Que no estaba... No, no estaba caliente. No ah, estaba. entonces... It wasn't warm enough. Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. So you have to look at the context. For example, if you go to the beach and the water's too cold, right? You're not going to get in, right? Because you want it to be a little bit warmer. So it wasn't warm enough, right? Wasn't, lo negativo, wasn't. Okay. okay, great. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Flor? Teacher, I lost the connection. Okay. Who were you with? I don't know because no. I. <laughs> Let me see. Yes. I don't remember who you were I with. I don't remember. Yes, because I just, just as, as I accept 
the invitation and then the connection was boom right. lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put you with, um, were you with Fabio or Jennifer? You remember? No? You don't remember? Mm -hmm. I'll put you with them. I, I, you. I think, I think maybe with Jarvin, but I'm not sure. Mm, okay. Let me see. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? Okay. I'll put you in room three with uh, Beatrice. All right, there you go. Thank you. No problem. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Okay. Right, welcome back. And I hope you probably read the, the little story of Rome, that Roman wall, a little bit of more practice in a reading activity with a partner. Now, um, I want to say, well, the first thing I want to say before we close this session is that Freddy's and Miguel. Hello, Miguel. 
Are you here right now? Yes, okay. yes. I saw the platform and you have finished everything. You finished everything already, right? I remember if you want to yeah. make get a little bit higher, you can, but right now you have met all the requirements for, for the grades in the platform. So after class, I'm going to look at it one more time so I can send it a, to the to administration platform. Okay, Miguel? Uh, pertaining to your okay, thread, I already sent yours. All right? Yes. I already sent yours. All right. Well, thank you for completing all the homeworks and all the... Well, you finished everything. Unit one, two, three, and four. So you're finished with the platform. Very good. Good grades. And thank you. Awesome. That saves me more time. Very good. Thank you, Miguel. And Freddy and the rest of you, I Thank know you. some of you are continuing. And some of you that are finished with the second homework. We are also going to do it Wednesday. Okay. We're going to do that review also in class. That way, if you have any doubts or anything pertaining to the homework, we can uh, we can talk about it then. Okay. But uh, let me do the final attendance so we can conclude. Abigail. Present. All right. Beatriz. Present. All right. Blanca. Present. All right. Let me see. Brenda. She tried to connect. She's still connecting. Okay. Carlos. I'm here present. Teacher. Okay. Thank you. Diana. Present. All right. Edwin. Present. All right. Flor. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Francisco. Okay, no answer. Fredis. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Glenda. Present, teacher. Great, Iris. Present, teacher. Okay, Jackie. I'm here. Okay, Jarvin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Great. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Great. Miguel. I'm here. Great. Fabio. Present. Okay. Rolando. I know you're still at work. Let me see. Jessica. I'm, I'm here. Janari. All right. Great. Abigail. I'm sorry, I already called your name. It says I'm going by the other list. So, okay. All right, everyone's here. And the one that stays today is um, Jackie, right? Jackie. So you stay the extra 10 minutes today, Jackie. Everyone else, take care. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, great job. Great participation. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Okay, Jackie, hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, welcome. Welcome. Just you and me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yes, thank All you. All right. Teacher. So this 10 minutes are just extra 10 minutes. If you have any questions, if you if you just want to better your pronunciation, maybe vocabulary words, anything extra that you would like to hear from me or pertaining to the topics or any questions mm. you may have maybe more practice or whatever uh, teacher i was thinking of something that it's a problem to me for uh, me how can i oh sorry a problem for me a uh, problem for me yes okay um how can i uh, identify when well short vowels from long vowels i think in a word 
for example, when I, well, in the, the vowel O, O in English, we um, pronounce like A in some words, like tower, tower. It's that correct or not? Sure. October? October, right? October. 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 It, yes. it sounds like an A. Ah. October. But October. If I say ostrich, it's like O. Ostrich. Ostr ostrich. Ostrich. Yes, ostrich. It's not uh, ostrich. 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 Yes. Well, I get confused. Uh, all the time with the pronunciation. Okay. Uh, is there any secret? Secret or not? Not really. I can be <laughs> honest with you, right? And in phonetics, right? Esas son clases de fonética, right? Those are phonetic classes. But what I can do is this is a very strict and disciplined topic, Jackie. And what I can do is I can on the side send you appropriate help. Mm -hmm. okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that, right? I can say, you know what, Jackie, I can help you with this outside of the module, lo que es lo que es el contenido de, de, de Insafor, right? Yeah. Because there isn't there isn't that here, la phonetica, right? Mm -hmm. But I can do that for you. I can send you some you. some extra activities. Remember that phonetics is long. Créame, <laughs> I've taken phonetics right in my preparation, mm. right in my preparation uh, educación superior phonetics, right, and it was like six months or medio año de phonetics, half mm. a year of phonetics, phonetics. Right, where you have curve vowels, short vowel sounds, long vowel sound, and all those different sounds in 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 a uh, a right a uh, and then a uh, or a uh, right and then it's like it's like you're like right and you get so confused the best thing you can do and I'm going to find voy a encontrar I'm going to find little little activities for you okay in oh, pronunciation you. to help you okay, okay? thank you but the best way to do this the best mm -hmm. way is when someone else hears you como cuando yo los oigo a ustedes y los corrijo mm -hmm. that is the best way to do it because that's how i learned i didn't have like a class when i started learning english i didn't have a specific phonetics class let me give you an example that's when I started yeah. learning English, right? But when you become mm -hmm. a professional teacher, you have to take those classes, right? Yeah. I understand. When I took those classes, I was like, I was like, oh no, right? <laughs> I'm going to give you an example, Jackie, how I felt when I took my uh, my classes in phonetics. When you started learning Spanish. Cuando usted empezó a le, uh, aprender el idioma español, o ahorita, usted tuvo clases de fonética donde le ponen la letra y le ponen como cositas arriba. ¿Verdad que no? no Now, Spanish, is, you don't, right? But you can speak Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. You know the pronunciation. Why? How did you know that that's correct? Because you listen to other people speak that way, and also you were corrected in school in the pronunciation. Yes. Pero el docente en la escuela no le decía, mire, así se pronuncia, él le hacía como la gachito, así, eh, como es fonética. They didn't used to, they don't do that, right? No. <laughs> That's the same way with English, but with, since it's a different language, it's good to know it. It's good to know it, right? Where you know that a short vowel, long vowel, when you have a double O, you pronounce U. Uh -huh. You pronounce yeah. the U, boot, cook. Boot. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> so those are like fairly easy. When you have two O's, you have the O y luego llevan una línea arriba, right? Mm -hmm. I mean the O, the O sound, right? Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, where do you see that? Where do you see that those uh, 
Los símbolos. ¿Dónde usted ve esos símbolos de fonética? In a dictionary. In a dictionary. Yeah. Exactly, right? So, in phonetics, when you take a phonetics class, you have to use the dictionary. Mm -hmm. And and I can find you links also, diferentes links para ayudar la fonética, to help you in phonetics, right? Mm -hmm. so, that's something for you to comprehend about phonetics, okay? It's not, it's not like, oh, is there a shortcut? Hay una estructura? There is, <laughs> there is, mm -hmm. all right? There is, and there's some, like when you have a little double O, you pronounce the O sound, right? Because remember, you have U and you have U. U, uh -huh. For example, how do you say universidad in English? University. Very good, right? University, you pronounce U. But what about paraguas or para el agua? How do you say that? In, umbrella. In... Ah, pero lleva la U. Oh, um, oh, oh. Uh, umbrella. Exactly. Uh -huh. You don't pronounce umbrella. Like, no. 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 Now you see, right? <laughs> so there's no like structure que diga, oh, si empieza con la U y una boca o una consonante, you pronounce it this way. No, not all the time, mm -hmm. right? Not all the time. Like, for example, the H. The H. Tell me caballo in English. Horse. Okay. Ho, ho. You pronounce like 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 the J, right? Like, like J. Uh -huh. Ho, ho. Oh, first. First, right? And then mm -hmm. give me pronounce a word with the letter H, hora. Time. No. Uh, it, uh, hour. Ah, pero lleva H, no dice hour? No. Ah, you see? You no. see? So there's no, para que usted vea que no hay como una set guideline que diga this way, this way, this way, right? Yeah. Those are, those are uh, sounds. Those are related mm -hmm. to Phonetics. phonetics give you an example right so well. <laughs> but i can tell you this much also whenever you have two vowels i'm going to give you something right here okay two vowels yes okay mm -hmm. How do you pronounce that? The E and the A. Is it heal? Is it hia? Is heo? Heo. Heo. Okay. How do you say lagrima in English? Uh, oh, okay. well. Tear. I forgot tear. Yeah, okay. Now, yeah. um, let me see. Tear. All right. Mm -hmm. Y eso como romper algo, right? Tear. Tear. Okay. Oh, a tear is a, um, a noun and a verb. Exactly, right? But they have the same spelling. Mm -hmm. But different pronunciation, right? Tear, uh, tear. All right? So this is my point right here. You have an E sound, and then you have, for example, tear, right? We're going to pronounce tear, and then you have a tear. You have an E, 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 e sound, right? Or you can say... Now, whenever, let me put this right here. Va, voy a poner otro mejor diferente, en vez que no sea igual. All right. Two different things. Tear and a verbo. Dos son cosas, no son verbos, right? Tear, lágrima, y qué es el otro? Oso, right? But how do you pronounce that? Do you say beer? Bear. Bear, right? So you have the eh. 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 Now remember, Bear. this is something that I would like to tell you, Jackie. Whenever you have two, le dije yo dos, ¿verdad? Yeah. Vowels. Vowels. You only have one pronunciation. 
All right. The first one or the second one? <laughs> Both, all of them. Heal. Uh -huh. You don't say heal or tear, right? You say tear, heel. bear. Heel, tear. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. You only, you only have one sound, right? Mm -hmm. One. Bear. One sound, bear, eh, eh. No más hay es una unificación de vocales with one vowel sound. All right? That is just something for you to remember. And then you already know that when you have like the double O, you say ooh, ooh, right? Ooh. And it's with the you like that with the little the little línea arriba, right? The ooh, ooh, right? But I'm going to find something for you, something basic to get you understanding. Uh, with the vowel sounds, okay? okay so, please. All right? Remember, vowel sounds, no son cinco, no son seis, son más. There are more. All right? <laughs> All right. Um, I will take some phonetics class in the future. <laughs> it's it deals, necessary. Yes, remember the phonetics deals with the sound, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And you have, when you take phonetics classes, you have to uh, labial, you have some pronunciations that use labial and uh, with the back, with the tongue, right? Mm -hmm. Dental, todas esas funcionamientos, all those functions that deal with pronunciation, you will learn also if you take a phonetics class, right? Okay, so, well, teacher, thank you so much. You helped me a lot. Okay, no problem. And remember, when you pronounce incorrectly in class, I will always correct you. Okay, Jackie? Thank you. I appreciate that, no uh, teacher. And I have in my notebook um, some signs that only I identify. <laughs> <laughs> I underline the syllables with a stress. And well, uh, it's a pleasure, teacher, be with you every night learning English. Okay, well, thank you. And I'm, I'm very happy to have you in class, Jackie. Continue, thank you, okay? Okay, okay, good night, thank Jackie. You so much. I will find some good, good activities for you, okay? Thank you so much. All right. Good night, teacher. Good See night. You See you tomorrow, Jackie. Good night. Good night. Good night.